And now we will hear from the Minister of Innovation, Science and Industry, Navdeep Baines. Now, please. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Christia, and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, over the past several months, our government has been doing whatever it takes to protect the health of Canadians and the Canadian economy. And I've been extremely proud of how communities across the country have responded as we navigate through this crisis. Uh, nous voulons tout retrouver nos lieux de travail. We all want to go back to work. We all want to be able to go to school and see our elders. Over 6,400 companies have contacted us to offer their expertise and capacity. And of those 6,400 companies, 700 have retooled to supply personal protective equipment. Nous avons agi rapidement pour lancer un appel à l'action. We acted quickly. We analyzed letters of proposals and made purchases. On our work to developing testing and personal protective equipment capacity in Canada. Nous avons signé un contrat avec... We signed a contract with a Montreal company. This company will create magnetic reagents, and this technology is essential for laboratory testing. I'm happy to say that both CAE and Ventilators for Canadians have received an authorization from Health Canada. This important step is another milestone in our Made in Canada project, and it demonstrates the critical importance of securing domestic supply of vital, life-saving equipment to fight COVID-19. We started by bringing together a coalition of Canadian manufacturers to design and produce multiple made-in-Canada ventilators. And now, these firms are able to ramp up manufacturing to deliver on contracts that the government has established with each group for a combined of 20,000 ventilators for these two specific companies. And on masks, the National Research Council is working with Dorma Filtration to adapt Dorma's low-cost reusable N95 masks for mass production to help meet the needs of Canadian healthcare workers. Before closing, I would like to highlight the importance of our researchers and the work that they do throughout our country. Canadians can be proud of them. Our government invested the largest amount in Canada's history towards fundamental science. That was a point of pride. And it's those researchers that we count on today and that we will continue to count on in the future. And as a part of our continued effort in this endeavor, today I announced more than $492 million in funding by the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council of Canada through its Discovery Research Program, which will help over 2,400 researchers across the country. We know that advances in the natural sciences and engineering promise to unlock discoveries that will help address some of our world's biggest challenges. And we're, pr pr and we're proud to support the women and men making this happen. To everyone who has been contributing to these efforts, our researchers, entrepreneurs, businesses, both large and small, I want to express my sincere gratitude. Thank you very much for stepping up. It's greatly appreciated, and together, we'll move forward. Merci beaucoup. Okay, thank you, Nav. I think that we are now ready to answer your questions.